Well, I think there will be a um, big body of uh, of a resistance inside the House, particularly after uh, the last four years under Speaker Pelosi's uh, leadership. I think you'll see a robust uh, oversight by the Judiciary Committee, the Oversight Committee, uh, and the oversight subcommittees in each of the primary committees of Congress looking at uh, policy differences that we have with the Biden administration, whether it's uh, dismissing military advice on Afghanistan, uh, looking at the origins of uh, COVID-19, assessing what we could do better on uh, handling COVID in the U.S., uh, the border, the broken border, where administration officials testify routinely that the border is secure, nothing to see here, when everybody in the country knows that that's not true. So I do think uh, oversight will be a big part of the next two years. Uh, possibilities for uh, opportunities for you know mutual legislative activity between the executive and, and legislative, sure. I think we'll get an ag bill. I think we'll get an agricultural reauthorization bill. I'd like to see us uh, work together to get uh, flood reform uh, through the House uh, after 17, soon to be 18, uh, can kicking continuing resolutions on the uh, national flood program. Uh, President Biden has interest in uh, cancer. As you know, this is something he was interested in both as vice president and president. I think uh, cancer funding at NIH is something that could be uh, mutually agreed upon. And then we have uh, a large behavioral health uh, set of measures uh, in which I've worked on in regards to the uh, opioid crisis in our country. And I think that's an opportunity as well.